God damn, you gonna fight that just as fast? Oh, man is... Oh, he is goaded. Man is a certified jumbo god. Man is so good, though. Mm -mm. No, I am not morning. Hell no. Bro, I've been on my bed all night, bro. Can you go on mute, bro? Well, can you go on mute, bro? Hell yeah. I'm mad at what? supposed to be a moment This supposed to be a moment This supposed to be a moment What good is being the one when you the only one that knows it Hey man, it's the ISO God Sensei The greatest 2K player in existence And I got some new 2K22 news for y'all man the build system, pie charts confirmed for last gen. We gonna go over that. All the new pie charts that got leaked. New actual gameplay, new first gameplay, shot meter in action gameplay, and a bunch of the new gameplay features that Mike Wang talk about. We gonna have a full breakdown in depth and a lot more other 2K22 news. So make sure y'all watch this full video, my boy. Subscribe, help me hit 300K. Help me get a thousand likes and turn on post notice, man. So let's get into it, man. So right here, man. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna just let I'm gonna just let this clip play, man. So when I first seen this, you feel me? I was oh the, the different stamina bar leaked, leaked, leaked. I don't y'all y'all like this stamina bar more? I don't know why they're trying to copy it live, but I was. First, I was just like, man, what the, f how the fuck is this wide open? Ben Simmons is a motherfucking all defensive NBA 6'10 defensive god, right? It should have been somewhat covered 30, 20, something, right? You know, he's close, but then I thought, I used my senses, and I was like, mm, they probably put it on rookie. You know, so like this is why it's open. But then I also thought like I first I first was thinking, man, maybe this is how they got rid of ghost contest, man, by making the contest system like 18 and 19 to where you could just make everything. But yeah, um, I don't know, man. A lot of the news that we hear about the game is it's seeming like I don't know, man, J just when when they say they remove ghost contests, bro, the only way I can think of them removing ghost contests since 2K is terrible about fixing their game, especially with little things like that, like <laughs> missing open layups has like always been a thing. It was like it was like OD like back in the day, bro, <laughs> like OD, bro, like it made no fucking sense, bro. The only way I could think of that is if they make it to where that little aura, if you're not right under a nigga, like, even if you under a nigga, if you're not close enough, bro, like, that bitch is cash. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it in the shop meter, but let's get into the gameplay news, these pie charts, man. So Mike Wang just tweeted, yes, there are some pie charts in the current gen builder. Some new pies were added, so it has been leaked that last gen will be pie chart based, not a new builder. Um, there's a lot of people very mad that it's pie charts. Did y'all really think you were getting something different? <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> but like, uh, from the tweets I seen, like people were hella mad, bro. Look, you just killed the all my excitement and hopefulness I had for this year's current gen edition in one tweet. I, I thought I thought y'all didn't like the next gen system. But it's looking like y'all like the next gen system. But I <laughs> I thought this was common sense. A lot of people tripping though. But it's looking like you remember those promise 2K20 uh pie charts that Ronnie was talking about that we would get that we didn't get. <laughs> it's look like and we're getting those. Yay! Everybody say yay in the comments. Make sure you turn on notice, dickhead. We got some in the paint news, gameplay news. Make sure y'all sub. We gonna cover all the 2K news. You ain't gotta go look. The greatest breakdown is here, man. Michelle Wang says, for contests we use interior defense in the paint and perimeter defense outside this year. The block rating will determine how frequently you actually make contact with the ball. Okay. Screenshot this. 
let's hold them to this hopefully it's actually right and all this shit works if you improve the contest system it, it'll 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 be miraculous my boy like improvement of the game we got some more info are better steel animations are locked after a certain threshold is met for steel rating in new gen yes not for last gen uh oh new gen new gen new gen the wave what 2k y'all gonna play do y'all have a next generation console let me know down in the comments man don't be shy i'll be down here with you my boy we like all comments over here but michelle wang says in new gen yes the steel rating is much more important for steel success this year i'm really hoping as you can see make sure y'all follow my twitter man help me hit 22k uh hoping this new steel system you implemented actually matters and is balanced and steels aren't how they've been for years i really do bro um that'll be really dope to have like a real dope steel system and shit work because i know especially with me if they implement a steel system it's over niggas is getting harassed dog like it's raps for the bot ass niggas that abuse this game that can't get open that don't worry about moving a certain way because niggas is unrippable throwing stupid ass scary passes because shit ain't gonna be stolen but nigga <laughs> nigga you know it take more iq to like you worry about shit and not be you know tesla driveling on 2k nigga what nigga i'm a oh, niggas gonna get punished nigga posterizer is in both gens you can already guess what is going on with that we ain't gonna go too in depth with that <clears throat> notorious spit your game talk your hey if you remember that song you're a real one let, let me know the song down in the, uh, the comments it says is there a certain amount of attribute points taken if the defender has the menace badge is it based off tier of the badge yes the higher the tier the more attributes are hit flexible release is no longer in the game i say no the best shooting badge is gone this was one of my favorite uh shooting badges in last gen y'all let me know y'all's favorite shooting badge the dunk meter stays on even when the shot meter option is turned off um i'm hoping that dunk meter looks dope um because a lot of screenshots you know, like for thumbnails and stuff. Well, y'all aren't content creators. Y'all are viewers. Um, I hope it looks cool. You make cool vids and shit still. Because, like, the dunk meter, like, stays. Um, unless you do it with, like, different dunks. Um, yeah. Young Michelle Wang says, Floaters are much more useful this year. Open middies are money. I don't like that midi part, man. Um, I say something pretty amazing, right? You know, I say floaters have never been effective in any 2K. If you're a real 2K player, you know this. Um, I say hopefully they are useful and balanced this year. Then this nigga starts dick riding Ticino for no reason. It says Ticino did a pretty good job with them in 19. Um, listen, listen, dickhead. Stop, stop dick sucking. Um, stop sucking male penis um first of all he didn't as i was saying bro they have not been useful um you would know like you're talking about like someone else like if it was actually useful you would be able to say like yeah it really bails me out situations myself but you know it doesn't you know when you are playing people under your skill level that you're way better than of course you're gonna get off crazy plays and shit like that but overall, any real hooper knows that floaters have never been effective, like just unusable. It's a stupid thing to use. Sometimes it goes in, sometimes it doesn't. That's it, <laughs> you know? Um, but I'm hoping it's balanced and not OP. Dunk landings are in both gens. Um, I say, can you cancel out of the dunk landings or do you always have to finish the animation? I hope we can run out them hoes. I wonder if they activate or if you activate them yourself. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited for the dunk landings. They kind of already had these dunk landings uh, with like the after two and shit. 
and just like you could just randomly like celebrate after so yeah, i don't know hopefully there's some crazy stuff like stepping over niggas those always make me laugh a lot nigga so michelle wang laughs i did not know this nigga laughs as you can see this nigga ej is tripping the fuck out <laughs> we ain't gonna play it but basically what he, you can go watch this this nigga's tripping yo i swear to god this video is so much more funnier on mute than actually listening because like you have to imagine what this nigga's saying i'm telling you go go listen look basically he's complaining about missing wide open and saying shooting too hard and michelle wang laughs does this mean that shooting's gonna be easier like why would he respond to this oh my god 666 likes let me oh my god bro what's happening what's happening ah 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 why is it staying on 666 what the fuck oh my god 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 yo what is this okay I had to get the nigga off the 666, bro. I don't, I don't know. I guess this is a red flag. This might be the easiest shooting 2K ever. Because the 666 was up, bro. I don't know what the fuck is going on, my boy. The mark of the motherfucking beast. I don't know what's going on. I tried to get it off that shit. Shit went down. Shit went up. You seen it live. What the fuck going on, my boy? Steady shooter is not in 2K22. I say don't ever add anything like that again. Fuck that badge. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about that badge. Is three-point recognition still in, in the game on next gen? Yes. So, basically, this guy told me down below. He said that, um, basically, and it's not in last gen and a lot of 2Ks. He's saying that, because I played next gen, but I didn't, like, play, 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 play it. You know, I just did, like, pro and shit with agent and, uh, bitch-ass precise. But... Yeah, he's saying just when you like step back or do anything like that or you're close to the three-point line, your guy will like levitate back and make sure it's a three that's very dope because your my player is a 99. He's a very intelligent, high attributes, all that shit. So it's like, you know, uh, you know, like he should have enough sense to go behind the line and it shouldn't be because of gameplay mechanics and shit like that so that's dope do you still lose the ball when you hop step on accident no okay this is what made me think that two-way slash and playmakers are going to be back and even in more news that i will discuss later on in the video make sure y'all stay tuned watch the full vid it's looking like hop steps might be back bro you know um when you hop stepped in 21 bro people could like rip you now and um they saying they took it out, so I don't know if they want that shit back or, or maybe they're confident in their contest system or what. I don't know. The aggressive skill dunking is only for new. You can now shoot with up on the shot stick again. And Baluba says that that's how you bank shots. And I ask, is there any reason to bank besides flash? Um, do y'all think there's another reason? What reasons would y'all want? Maybe if you bank the shot at the last point or some shit, you get like an extra rep boost. I don't fucking know. He's asking if the aggressive dunk timing will apply to stand and dunk animations. Baluba saying, no, it'll just be like 2K21. And you won't need to use the pro stick to increase the, the dunk frequency or no shit. Quay says, how does the alley-oop timing work? Is it as soon as you catch the ball? The meter pops up while the pass is in the air. If you press the shot button too early, you'll miss the catch completely. If you stop it inside the window, you'll make the shot or at least have a good chance to make it. If you don't press the button at all, you'll catch it and come down. I think this is amazing because hopefully this means there's a nerf to alley-oops and um, I say this is a very boring way to grind rep. Can't even play normal basketball. And um, yeah, bro, like for years, the way to 
get rep is to just throw fucking alley oops, bro. And that shit is so lame. Um, I know for y'all rep grinders and no lives, that shit gotta be lame. Like, you're not even playing real basketball at that point. Like, you're just trying to just throw alley oops and, you know, always gotta throw alley oops. Everyone, throw me alley oops. You know, instead of just playing real basketball and just your time and shit like that equaling the, the rep. Sniper is now a new type of badge and it is the opposite of flexible release. So if you time it well, you get a big boost. And if you time it wrong, you get a big negative boost. And then power, the fuck, wants clarification, basically. If you cut the make window into four equal pieces, the two outer pieces early late get an extra penalty. The two inner pieces slightly early slash late get an extra bonus. Excellent is a guaranteed make and very early slash late outside the make window is a guaranteed, guaranteed miss. Okay. Baluba's current plan for six size ups is to release 20 um, day one and then every season release four i think that's pretty cool y'all let me know how y'all feel about that intimidator and rim protector are the two main badges for rim protection paint defense is probably in my top five 2k22 upgrades this year blocking is miles better than it has been in the past hey man he said it look if he did this if he actually implemented this 2k will be a lot better better bro y'all let me know if it would be a lot better for you pick dodger buff pick dodger puff young greek freak oh look look you know of course a greek freak fan is worried about you know iso and screens getting patched and shit shout out to you my nigga shout out to greek freak baluba says the motion team did a lot of work to improve the feel of navigating around screens reduce the vacuum effect improve resolution logic and more they feel much tighter now hopefully this means that screens have been patched ever since 2k17 screens have been overpowered made the game way less fun and way less enjoyable and changed the meta and comp scene and you know you you keep all that shit for pro -am and shit but in real life bro people don't set screens at the park bro i ain't gonna hold you in pickup games Niggas ain't setting hard screens. Hard screens aren't even real. There's like 10 a year in the NBA. So in like in pickup basketball, that usually ends in a fight. So shit need to be nerfed. I'm tired of these little kids abusing this shit. You know, there's a build gap, not a skill gap. So deep threes is removed. Um, he's saying deep threes is assessingly split off into two separate skills off dribble chef hey by the way in the description of this badge we went over this vid yesterday all the badges and other news and shit like that y'all go watch that good video very in depth um it says like steph curry some bullshit it needs to be like harder that's literally his signature cooking shit like that 2k whoever's designing your badges i think it's zach timmerman Look, dickhead, get your shit straight, nigga. Show respect to the chosen one. Off dribble, harden, dickhead. It, that's literally his emote. Why are you going to call it the chef and then give it to Curry? That don't even make sense. They both do that shit. But come on, man. Like, come on, man. Disrespectful. And then catching, and then it's like a catch and shoot and then limitless spot up. I guess niggas can spot up from limitless. There's a badge for it now. I bet catch and shoot is still in the game. <laughs> that's ridiculous. If catch and shoot and limitless spot up is in the game, that's fucking weird. Damn, like, nigga, if you mess with that shit. So now he explains the chef badge. If you've been moving long enough, quick stop and shoot a set shot or it is a dribble pull up, a fade or some shit like that. Um, the chef rules possibly could change. So must be 30 feet from the basket. Have to wait two or more seconds after a catch. Have to be moving for at least one to two. If you stop before shooting, you have to shoot before one second expires. So it's like a two in one badge. Like it's main shits for fading and shit. But it also 
So or say you break the guy's ankle and you stop. You know how niggas like do that shit or like kill him real quick and then stop and then take the shot. Um, the sniper badge last year was super ass, but for spot ups, it was cool. Um, it barely popped up. I still think it was messed up, but um, yeah, this seems cool. Hopefully it don't make shooting too easy. So the spin dunk from the three point line has been patched. If y'all know that crazy ass shit, people run baseline or run at a certain angle and then spin dunk through everybody very broken and stupid as fuck. Um, he's saying it's patched. Um, y'all know when he used this deadline, it's just like when the momentum and the spin back to the three was in the game and he said that shit was dead. He wasn't lying, bro. He really hated that shit. He got it patched. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about that. Apparently there's some wild dunk landings. All the shot meters are the same in both gens. Um, right here, this is very, this is some of the most worrisome news. Baluba says shot speed no longer varies based on distance, but it still varies based on other factors such as fatigue. Don't use a Zen. So, you know, young Michelle responds to me, right? After I say shot speed should vary so people don't use a Zen. Why did you go back? Next gen was very easy to shoot, so why go back? Then he says shot speed is still variable. It just doesn't vary based on distance anymore. That was still easy to exploit. Eh, eh, eh. I don't think so. Um, well, I mean, it still could be easy to exploit, but it's still harder. It's just like, say a little fuck nigga, a little stupid bitch got his fucking shit set to a certain fucking number and that number is at the top of the key. But if you have it to where it's a different timing, for the wing on the left, the wing on the right, depending on his hand, the the fucking corner spot, the midi spot, the midi in the front, the the fucking uh midi on the right side, and then all based on his hand type shit. If you have all this super deep half court shots, if you have all this, and someone will be forced to just shoot in the same position, and it'll be harder for them to make as many shots. But if you go back. It's like you are putting Zens back in the game, or am I stupid? I don't know. We got some nice little size ups here, you know, same shit, different day. So, Michelle Wang responds to me again. That's why you need to follow me on Twitter. Help me hit 22K. Again, um, I had a 40K Twitter, then DF got me banned. RIPs in the chat or in the comments. So, Baluba says you can still get contact dunks without using the aggressive skill dunk feature, but there are a lot more rare. The skill dunk feature is new gen only, by the way. So, I say, kind of confused. Am I now going to be able to go for a dunk no matter what instead of a random layup at times? Y'all let me know if y'all ever go through that. And I say, that would be amazing. I've always hoped for that. Hopefully, dunks still nerf. I'd be having slasher take and go for a layup many others go through this too um i've always wished there was an auto dunk button like how triangle is always jump i really wish um it would be very amazing and make the game a lot more fun and when i make my slasher builds i'm always going for a dunk i don't want it to always make it type shit i just want to fucking attempt it bro when i want to attempt it because there'll be a lot of times when i got mismatches and I'm a slasher take and shit like that. I want to yam on niggas. Um, Mike Wing responds to me and says, aggressive skill dunks let you attempt dunks in situations where you'd otherwise get a layup. Maybe he's responding to me. He kind of weird words it weird or maybe I'm fucking stupid. He says, I wouldn't say it's a guaranteed dunk every time though. Uh, See, when he says that, I don't know what he means. Like, does he mean make every time or attempt dunk every time? He says, we tried that and it was either cheesy or a brick fest. I think it's in a good spot now, but we'll fine tune from community feedback so they can adjust this. That's good. Steady shooter is gone. Hyperdrive only 
increases the speed with right stick dribble moves um i'm hoping that you can get quick momentums and like stupid fast momentums that would be really dope if you have like hyperdrive like upgraded um because like the other moves is, it doesn't really matter um if it don't affect your speed boost it might um but yeah like the momentums that would be real dope for momentum to be a very effective move bro um in 2k16 momentum was a fucking killer bro like i swear to god like it was very dope i love doing the move and um now it's just it doesn't matter they have like some weird sham god that be fucking shit up i don't know it'd be like boop boop you know like i, I like that shit um turning off the shot meter will still give you a boost um heart crusher and showtime have been removed but um i think these badges are going to turn into takeover perks we're going to go over that later in the video um he also says these other badges were removed these takeover boosters takeover boosters and takeover takeaways are very cheesy and broken heat seeker highlight film anti-freeze was stupid heat seeker highlight film had to do with giving takeover um deep threes deep threes turn into something else hot shot was very broken ice and veins was stupid as fuck tyler the shooter i don't know relay passer um when combined with other shit was broken clutch defender i don't really know heart crusher used to one steal make your whole team cold hot stopper you know i think these all just turned into take over um perks and um trapper shit like that please tell me that there is a badge that boosts takeover faster that replaces you know takeover perks which is i was actually getting happy man everything he states about dribbling goes for both gens when it comes to the attributes and shit will there be a speed glitch baluba is not you know he's hoping he's the developer and he doesn't know if there's gonna be a speed glitch i don't know man i i don't know so park handles will not return in nba 2k22 michelle wang says no not until i can come up with a better way to do them without interfering with the core dribble moves and i say dribble god's not gonna like this one now here is the real reason why they removed this badge so shooting star says i thought if you didn't have tight handles hall of fame you wouldn't activate them build guru says that's true but you can't remove hall of fame tight handles in my team for cards that come with it and park handles would trigger in triple threat no bueno so why wouldn't they just make my team cards not have tight handles or just take out that feature um that's why i think like they just be copying shit because couldn't you just change that rather than just taking out something completely? Because the, the dribble heads, they, they love the, the park handle shit. But I don't know. Copy paste? So shout out to my boy, Mixed Mexican. He got Baluba to first reply to me. This is one of the first replies he replied to me. He said, why Mike just be ignoring you? It seems like he be answering everybody but you. You on a list or something? Yeah, I'm on a list. Them niggas do not fuck with me, my boy. But they gonna see, my nigga. If if my power ever gets reconstructed to some astronomical level, they will feel my wrath. I will train, change the world. And I will train the world. But even Baluba, Baluba responds to this nigga. He don't even respond to me. But, you know, he answers what I'm saying to like prove that I'm not on the list or some shit. I don't know. But he says, there are benefits to going above 85. Mainly your moves will be faster and more effective. There are still three general tiers. 60, 60 through 84, 85 plus. But there are other different SIGs unlocked at varying other ratings. 65, 70, 75, 80. There are height requirements for dribble moves and ball handle requirements in NBA 2K22. Um, hopefully the height requirements are smaller than they have been. Um, Golden doesn't like the idea of height requirements. He thinks it should just be slower moves. 
and Baluba says it used to be that way but a lot of new moves look pretty ridiculous on seven footers and here's what I have to say about that when the animation glitch existed every year um it was very exploited these stretch bigs would just destroy the game uh, and just be stupid overpowered niggas would make videos ruin the game act like they're fucking gods and defend stretch bigs and be lame and make the game basically unfun comp stage didn't matter anymore and shit like that you know and they just get too many and basically bro even though a move looks slower it's actually faster because the build is bigger the player model is bigger they take up more space so they are actually moving faster than smaller builds with a way higher speed um, the 2K toots nigga, he proved this, but I've been saying this since the first 2K, bro. Like, before I even got on YouTube, I've been saying this, and then when I got on YouTube on 15, I used to always say this shit. I said this shit every year, you know? But yeah, man, it should definitely not be like that. But they saying they fixed the speed gap. They say that shit every year, but we gonna see, bro. We gonna go more over that later. So right here, Baluba is explaining the chef badge. It kicks in for actual off dribble shots like pull-ups and steps backs, but will also work if you have been moving a while, stop and shoot, but you have to shoot within one second. Hopefully fading is like 2K21 last gen. That 2K and 2K16 had balanced fading. And it really did, bro. Um, I was really proud of you, man. Last gen is not a good game, but the fact that you did this shit, I really liked it. Um, but like for instance, um, and I fuck with Tysino, but that fading shit is the one of the easiest exploits since fucking 2K17 on some OD shit, my nigga. Like, it's up there with fucking post scoring, like, and it's hella unrealistic. Like, brick wall screen, fade, or alley oop most broken mechanics in the game it's overpowered these fucking paint beasts 30 defensive badges and they just dunking over everybody all these slashing badges and you shooting all these contested shots nigga you patch fading so much that Tysino and annoying stop playing the game that's fucking insane it's not a coincidence bro you know um and like when Tysino was doing wagers like he was getting fucked up bro like bad like not saying he's a bad player or nothing all that shit delayed whatever but you know in 20 when fading was fucking op and 19 he was fucking niggas up even though he still lost a, a bunch he 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 won a bunch too and he was fucking niggas up but in 20k 21 that that fading shit is fucking done <laughs> like you gonna have to get a, like a more versatile build but he could get away with it in them lame ass games with like little badges and all that type of shit. But nah, bro, not no 2K with a better skill gap in my opinion, bro. But hey, animations will be the same. Next gen will have a lot more animations because um, it has more memory, but the core animations will be the same. This confirms two-way slash and playmakers might be back. That's what it's looking like. Y'all remember the hop step shit I mentioned and other mentions that he's saying about 2K20, man. But Luba says, I'm hesitant to say what three-point rating you'll need to be consistent because it's going to vary from player to player based on how good they are. With shot timing, it's definitely easier to hit threes with a lower rating than 22, though. I guess it means 21 so now you can hit with a lower rating again um don't judge 2k21 now how it is because he did do a a shooting buff because it wasn't like that before i promise you a lot of people make it builds now with lower shooting badges or shooting badges and fucking ratings you couldn't do that shit before but um then he says i'd probably say it's closer to 20 or in between two-way slash and playmakers back mike wayne explains the mismatch expert badge he says it doesn't necessarily have to be a matchup switch it takes effect anytime you are undersized against your defender similar to giant slayer and i really like that because it's looking like 
there why there might be bigger locks this year than guards and if that's true you know you get a buff on that and then a lot of the times people try to get the paint beast to guard the isoware and stuff like that and they have 30 defensive badges and they're fast as hell because 2k don't know how to balance their fucking game and you know it uh you know it uh, it'll make them more hesitant you know because in real life to be honest the people who shoot the best contested shots are not the taller players the fucking stretch bigs and shit no they just spot up and they shoot fucking open usually the it's usually the smaller guards you know smaller players not just fucking massive niggas so that whole logic in the contested system in 18 and 19 was just overall broken and people were fucking idiots um yeah smaller players need to definitely get more love because they're more skilled in shooting contested shots turn on the tv shot contest percentages will be in the game Baluba says there's still a height cutoff for some jumpers six nine or under will get them all um i hope it would be much shorter because the meta for the past few years but they're saying the meta is going to be taller for centers but who knows man they always be talking the meta for centers have always been like six seven through six nine so i think it needs to be like six 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 five and i i think it would be a lot better people go taller you know they shouldn't have the goaded most releases and shit all badges are identical between the gens the speed glitch from current gen 2k21 is gone so maybe this means that new nba 2k21 speed glitch for 2k22 next gen confirmed five seven players the meta leaked i'm trolling but who knows He's saying shorter players for a reason. Maybe there's a different type of speed glitch. I don't know. He said you'll be able to move faster and they changed the game. Will there be dunk timing for next gen? Be like the shot meter or will it be a button timing? And will you be able to turn it off? Luba says move and hold the pro stick down to start a dunk. The meter starts to fill. Release the stick to stop. If you hit the perfect timing, middle of the make window, you'll always make it. If you're in the window but miss perfect timing, there's still a chance that you will miss. There's no option to turn it off, but if you don't want to use it, you don't have to. Just hold the pro stick in a different direction or use the shot button instead. Then I ask a very valid question. If you have a high dunk rating, will you be able to time it very easy? like an extra point field goal or would it be harder hmm y'all go support them tweets see if we can get some replies this dude right here says what ball control do i need for pro dribble moves he says you're 185 lately you already know how i feel about the fading i already stated it earlier mike wang says again man with rate with right ratings badges middies fades are deadly bro so he reiterates that again. Oh, I don't like that at all. I really, it's just sounding like niggas gonna OD on the game. Y'all know what glue hands is, bro. Pass difficulty is determined by lane openness as well as how tightly covered the passer and or receiver are. Ratings play a big part also with glue hands. Those situations where you are leaning, fumbled, catches are minimized and let you branch out much quicker. Hopefully we can cancel out of these hoes. And yeah, man, make sure y'all subscribe if you know my boy. Help me hit 300k, dickhead. All the news, all the best builds, all the best jump shots will be here. So turn on post notifications, hit the like button. Help me get a thousand likes so my vid gets pushed. Y'all let me know y'all favorite part of news in the comments. Make sure y'all go to the gym eight days a week and drink a gallon of water a day. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here, here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm at made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome. dome.